More Letters from God and His Christ Epilogue Full Circle November 9, 2011 From the Lord, our God and Savior A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, I have called the winds of heaven to blow upon the earth. I have stirred them up, that they may go forth and gnarl the branches that they may blow hard against the multitude and break down the walls. Let every tree topple and break upon the necks of the wicked. Let every wall come down with a great crash upon the heads of evil men in authority. Behold, the anger of the Lord shall increase by measure until every foundation is broken up from beneath, until the face of the earth is once again without form. For I shall level the hills and cast down every tall mountain. Yea, I shall burn the cities with fire. Even the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Behold, even the heavens shall be dissolved when the fierceness of my wrath has come to the full. When the heat of my countenance sets the whole world ablaze. Thus I have spoken, and who is able to restrain themselves from repeating my every word? Who will not prophesy when the voice of the Almighty has entered into his ear? For I tell you plainly, the day is coming and is already here, when I shall speak into the air, and the voice of Yahuwah shall thunder in every corner, even to the ends of the earth. Yet I ask you, how does a prophet hear, and by what means is he revealed? Remember my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, shall make myself known to him in a vision. I shall speak to him in a dream. Even plainly I shall speak with him, not in mysterious sayings. For he has seen the form of the Lord, and has sat in my presence, and knows that which is beyond words and before him men shall fear. Therefore, thus says the Lord to all those who have heard with their ears, and have seen with their eyes, who have understood with their hearts, who have recognized those I have sent and the word given them. Wait upon me with all trust and fear. Stand steadfast and be patient, accepting my words as I have spoken them and as they are written. Do not add to my words, nor take from them. Neither form for yourselves any private interpretation. Only give heed to my words, and also do them, and prepare. I am the Lord. For my words are indeed that light, which shines in a dark place. A loud trumpet, an alarm, a call and a shout preparing my way before me, making all crooked paths straight until the day dawns and the morning star rises, filling the hearts of my chosen as they enter in. Peace.